In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add a calculated field to your pivot table. So in this pivot table, I've got a breakdown of order statuses and the related sales and the costs. You know, but let's say I want to add a field for uh, the margin, you know, to show how much I've made on on these on these orders based on their their different statuses. That doesn't exist in my data set, but what I can do is create a calculated field. To do that, you first want to click anywhere on your pivot table just to make sure that it's selected, and then you'll see an option for the pivot table analyze tab. If I click on that, there's a section for fields, items, and sets, and then select calculated field. And now you have an option in your name and a formula. So for the name, just type in margin. And for the formula, I mean, you can enter this similar to how you would enter a formula in Excel. You can do, you know, five plus five, it's always gonna give you 10. That's not gonna work. So you want something a bit more dynamic, which factors in the different fields. So because I wanna calculate the margin, I'm gonna take the sales and deduct cost. And you wanna double click to populate those fields into your formula. Um, you might be tempted to type them in, but you're better off double clicking just to make sure you've got the exact uh, same same text in here because some of these may contain spaces that you that you don't notice so it's easy to just double click so once I've got that in there I hit OK and now my margin shows up here so this you can see is just the difference between these two columns now let's say you wanted to do a step further and you want to show the margin uh, as a percentage of sales because right now we've got the margin but we don't know how good this really is in the context uh, of sales. So I'm gonna create another calculated field. And this time let's call it margin percent. And now what I'm gonna do is take my newly created margin field. So the cool thing is you can use a calculated field that incorporates another calculated field. And then divide this by sales to get the percentage sales or the margin percentage. I hit OK and I've got that. The only thing I need to do at this point is really just to change this to percentages just to show my different margins based on these order setters. So just like that I've, uh, I've added two calculated fields, one for the margin and one for the margin percentage. The key thing is really just going to the calculated fields option here and then once you're you're in here you know you, you're gonna want you're probably gonna want to use the fields in here as opposed to just entering a, a raw formula because otherwise it's not going to update along with your other um with with, with all your data otherwise it's going to be the same value over and over again so just something to consider there is just to make sure that you're you're incorporating these fields to make it a bit more um dynamic and making sure that your calculator field is always calculating based on what's in those different fields. So really not a too complicated of a process. And it's just a matter of uh, structuring it in a way that that makes sense for you. In, the, in this example, I did it in, in two steps, creating a margin, a field, and then a margin percentage. And that's a bit easier uh, rather than trying to do it all at once. But obviously you could try to do it all in, all in one shot. But I just want to show you how you, know, you can incorporate one calculator field into another as well. So hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.